Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a Wicked Jack's Tavern True Jamaican Rum Cake. This is a butter rum cake. Uh, this was mailed to us from Ruth. Ruth mailed us a, another uh, rum cake from uh, Wicked Jack's. It was a bourbon rum cake, and we had never had this brand before. I hadn't heard of it. Hadn't heard of it before, uh, and it was absolutely delicious. Uh, these are made in Marietta, Georgia, and when you open it up, it comes with a certificate of authenticity like a Cabbage Patch Kid, and then we have the rum cake, which is nicely sealed. I'm glad they do that. Okay, so I'm going to read you the story as Kevin opens that. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it. So That's okay. Go ahead. As the legend goes, in the town of Port Royal, Jamaica, during a time and place where debauchery and mayhem were common, set Wicked Jack's Tavern, a respectable establishment frequented by any number of questionable characters, such as buccaneers, sailors, and others who desired a taste of some of the famous fare the tavern was known for. Named after Wicked Jack Scarborough, a mysterious gent and original proprietor who founded the tavern and disappeared suddenly without a trace weeks after opening. Taking over the helm was a robust old widow known to locals as Old Gran, believed to be a cousin of Jake Scarborough, who, despite her kindly demeanor, drew a hard line with her clientele. Even the harshest patrons considered cleaning up their act a small cost to pay for the opportunity to indulge in some of Old Gran's specialties. Her most popular concoction was the tavern's own rum cake. That smells, smells so incredible. Good. You can go ahead and get it if you want. It smells great. The legend of Wicked Jack's Tavern lives. We believe delicious recipes made with the old world's best rum and combined with the finest ingredients is how Old Grand built Wicked Jack's reputation. Even if you've never sailed the seven seas, you can still taste the legendary goodness in every bite of our true Jamaican rum cake. There is no better rum than Jamaican rum and no better rum cake than Wicked Jack's Tavern. It is wickedjackstavern.com. Like I said, Marietta, Georgia. Um, one piece, 57 grams, two ounces, or t there are 10 servings. That's so, uh, 190 calories for 10 servings. Um, taste the legendary goodness in this moist, buttery cake with true Jamaican rub. Yeah, you can tell it's a very, you know, not wet, but moist cake. Okay, what does my certificate say? Congratulations. You're about to experience one of the finest rum cakes available anywhere. Mm. And then it tells what I just told you. And then other flavors. Uh-huh. Mm. I yeah. like the, the textures. Wonderful. I'll tell you the other flavors when we're done. Mm -mm -mm. You know what my favorite part is? The bottom. That part, the brown part. Well, I like the bottom because it's got more the mm. alcohol flavor. That is wonderful. I tell you what, the one thing that's different about this than some of the other ones we've had, mm -hmm. this one doesn't have that really strong, like it's actual alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the ones we've had have an alcoholic, kind of an alcohol kind of flavor. Alcoholic. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know how else to say it. Like it's real alcohol. alcohol infused. Rum, I do think know. this is real rum. I do too, but it doesn't have that really strong, maybe rum. it's just a smoother rum. Um, I think one, it's a different brand. Yeah, yeah, this one just doesn't have that really strong alcohol flavor. Now, that being said, you do taste the rum. Mm -hmm. Don't think you're going to buy this and you're mm -hmm. not going to taste it because you absolutely do taste the rum in this rum cake. Oh, yeah. It's just not, uh, it doesn't come across as overpowering. Yeah. Um, that cake is just as moist mm -hmm. as it can be. Like I said, I think I think this alcohol is a little smoother. Mm-hmm than some of the other brands we've right. That's the difference. No, I understand. It says it has less than 1% alcohol. Where do you see that? Oh yeah, contains less than 1% alcohol. Refrigerate after opening, serve within five days after opening for the best wicked taste. <laughs> that won't last five days. Uh -uh. No, I, um, the, this one well, and the other one we review. If you missed that review somehow, just type in Tammy Dunn Wicked Jacks, it'll come up. Um, they have both been very, very <clears throat> fresh. You know, they put them in these nice bags mm -hmm. and there's nothing um, dry. They're not dry. Um, but they're also not really wet. 
No, it's not actually wet, but it is a moist cake. It is a moist cake. Um, I mean, you can tell they put the they were flipped over, and they've like put the alcohol, the rum, on the bottom of them mm -hmm. and let them soak through. You can tell because the bottom is actually wetter than the other parts of it. And it's nice too because it's all uh, there's no interference with any other textures in there. So mm -hmm. so it's just cake, and yeah. there's not any like raisins like or raisins or nuts or, or which is good. Or whatever. I like pecans as much as the next person, mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure that's delicious. But I, I like too just to enjoy the cake itself. Yeah, it's really um, good. The other flavors they have are, uh, they have the butter rum, chocolate rum, rum raisin, which, which we'll have raisins. Yeah, and I'm sure it's delicious. Red velvet, hmm. the vanilla bourbon rum, which which is the one we have. Jamaica blue mountain coffee rum. So I would think that would be a, a strong rum. coffee yeah. flavor, yeah. Yeah, um, really good. I've never seen these in stores around us. Um, I've not seen them like, like I know um, uh, Tuesday, not Tuesday morning, but well, yeah, Tuesday morning, Marshalls, Home Goods, they sell other brands, uh, but I've never seen this brand. So if you have actually seen this brand in a store in your area, let us know. I would be very curious. Mm -hmm. um, they do have them on Amazon. They do have them online where you can buy them. Um, just, I would like to know if, especially they're in Georgia, like if you're in Georgia, have you seen them in stores in that area? Uh, but I would totally give this a try. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or give it as a gift. Or give it as a gift. Yes. This would be a good gift. If you have somebody like in another state and you want to mail them something special, mm -hmm. one of these rum cakes would be yep, great. It would be good. So thank you again to Ruth for thinking of us. She's always trying to think of new things to send to us and I appreciate that very much. Uh, but I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.